Prosecutors have now rested their case in the historic criminal trial against former President Donald Trump. This after another day of heated testimony, now day 19 of the trial, with the prosecution's key witness, Michael Cohen, back on the stand. The prosecution today resting its case in Donald Trump's historic hush money trial. Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen, their final witness. In a heated exchange, Cohen admitting on the stand that he stole from the Trump organization when he requested a $50,000 reimbursement for IT services. Cohen had actually paid just 20000 the former president shaking his head and pursing his lips during this testimony. In their redirect examination, prosecutors trying to bolster Cohen's credibility after the defense tried to paint him as a liar who's out for revenge. The prosecution taking on what might have been the most effective piece of the cross-examination when defense attorney Top Lange said Cohen lied about an October 2016 phone call with Trump to finalize the Stormy Daniels payout. The defense has suggested Cohen was actually talking to Trump's bodyguard during that call about other issues. But prosecutors asking, is it possible that other matters may have been discussed on those calls, but you are sure the Stormy Daniels matter was discussed? Cohen replying, yes. Meanwhile, outside of court, chaotic moments when the large political entourage with Trump stepped out to speak. I'm Alan Wilson. I'm the attorney general for South Carolina. Protesters clashing, some screaming, trying to drown out Trump's surrogates. Trump has pleaded not guilty to falsifying business records and has denied any sexual encounter with Daniels. They have no case. They have no crime. It's covered in the book. As legal expense. I had nothing to do with it. A bookkeeper put it down as a legal expense. And more drama in court just a short time ago. The judge in the case briefly clearing the courtroom after a heated back and forth with a defense witness. Meanwhile, with Memorial Day coming, the judge is saying that closing arguments will likely begin next Tuesday. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.